Hi everyone, I am Ronald Alcadiz from BS Chemistry 2H1 and today I'm going to discuss about uh, the continuation of the chapter 3 um, from the book of Rizal, the story of moth, education in Kalamba and education in Binyan. Okay, and, and the first one is the story of moth. Donya Theodora loved to read book to Pepe. Um, um, a story from the book of Amigo de los Niños or the children's friend. Um, one day, she scolded his son Pepe for making drawings on the pages of the storybook. And to teach him the value of obedience, she read him a story in it. And the title of the story is The Story of Moth. The moth was warned by her mother against go going too near to a long flame but she was fascinated by the mysterious light then the moth flew close to the flame um, feeling she was feeling it, like so comfortable and warm at first flying around the flying around the um, lump and then until she flew closer and closer until they close enough to the flame and then she perished and that that day um, while Pepe was listening to the story he was watching similar incident um, he, he watched the um, he watched the moth flying around the lump and then similarly to this story the moth was perished by the flame Donia Tudora also gave him the wisdom of many lifelong lessons that he will be able to carry with him through the rest of his life um, one of the uh, one of those is to always listen to his elders because they have experienced more than him. Many years later, um, Rizal himself felt that the moth tale could serve as an allegory of his own destiny. Okay, we're done. Then let's move on to the education in Kalamba. Doña Teodora was Rizal's first mother. The mother who sacrificed a lot for our hero. Um, Doña Tedora was a remarkable woman of good character and fine culture. Jose learned the alphabet and a Catholic prayers at the age of three and learned to read and write at the age of five. Jose's sister Saturnina and the three maternal uncles also mentored Rizal. His uncle Jose Alberto taught him painting, sketching, and sculpture, um, and his uncle Gregorio influenced him to further love reading. Um, uncle Manuel also um, mentored Rizal's, developed Rizal's physical skills in mar martial arts like wrestling. Private tutors were hired to enhance what Rizal's had learned. Um, the tutors of Rizal was Maestro Celestino, Maestro Lucas Padua, and a former classmate of Don Francisco, um, Leon Monroy, um, become the tutor in Spanish and Latin. But sadly, um, five months later, um, Leon Monroy died. Okay, we're done in education in Kalamba and then let's move on in education in Binyan. Um, in 1969, his brother Pashano brought him to the school of Maestro Justian, uh, Justiniano Aquino Cruz. Um, um, Rizal met the bully Pedro, uh, the son of his teacher. Um, Rizal, who was very angry at this bully named Pedro for making fun of him during his conversation uh, with the teacher. Rizal challenged Pedro 
to a fight. Rizal's learned a lot from his uncle, the art of wrestling from his um, from art of wrestling. Okay, the younger and smaller Jose defeated his tormentor Pedro. After class, a classmate named Andres Salandana Salandana challenged him to an arm wrestling match, but Rizal's having have a weaker arm and he lost the fight and he near, nearly cracked his head on the sidewalk. Um, Rizal's, Rizal might not have won all his brawls in life. Um, nevertheless, um, he beat all Binion's boys academically in Spanish, Latin, and many other subjects. Jose told his father that he already learned all there was to be taught in the school. Um, Rizal's father firmly scolded, scolded him and hustled to go back to school. Um, later on, Maestro, uh, Maestro Cruz confirmed that Jose had, had indeed finished already all the need curricular works. And then Don Francisco decided to send Jose to a school in Manila. So thank you. Thanks for watching.